Hey guys, this is EAS3964 here, and, to, and um, as promised, I will show you how to make your voice sound like it's coming out of a radio, um, like if you wanted it to sound like it's coming out of the um, weather radio or something. So first of all, I used, um, for this clip, I used AT&T's Natural Voice Labs. Um, the link can be found in the, in the description below. Um, today, well, yeah. Um, so first you want to select your audio. Um, if you've already got it, great. If you don't, you might want to record some. Pa feel free to pause this video and make some, if you don't have any. Um, uh, follow along. Feel free to pause if um, I'm going too fast. Um, this is using Audacity. Um, so if you don't have Audacity, chances are you might want to get it. Because um, I'm not sure if other audio editors have... Uh, the recording and um, editing things that this one has. So first you want to go to effect and then go to FFT filter and you want to drag this line all the way up here and then click down here and that makes like a um, half a square root sign. Um, preview just gives you a, a, an idea of what it would be like. Click OK and it makes it a lot louder. Um, hang on. Yeah. Sorry, I had to make sure this thing was recording from the from the mic. Um, yeah. So after you do that, uh, go back to effect and hit high pass filter. Instead, 993, you want 2000. Uh, might be different because I I've, I've always used natural my voice, uh, but click OK, and it makes the wavelength a lot shorter. Take a listen. The National Weather Service. So now it sounds, it sounds like it's coming out of the radio a little bit. So if but chances are that's not going to make the cut for you. So go back to effect, click FFT filter again. Should be the same. If it's not, make it look like that. Click OK. Effect high pass filter. Um and you can just click 2000 again. Click OK and again it'll make the wa uh, wavelength shorter. Um, so go back so uh, go back and check out how it sounds. Here's mine. The National Weather Service. Sorry, bump into the monitor. Um, and if that doesn't make the cut for you, then you can go back and redo the FFT filter, then the high pass filter at any time. Again, the FFT filter should look like this, and your high pass filter should have a value of 2000. So, but this one does it for me, so I'm just going to um, cancel out, and hope to see you on my next video. Thank you, and have a good day.